Striker Scorpion 82 is now sponsored by Warhammer Combat Cards, a card battle game featuring your favourite Citadel miniatures from the 40k universe. Build your army decks, dominate opponents in player versus player action, collect and upgrade cards to fit your strategy, improve their power and unlock unique traits. Choose from all 40k factions, take part in campaigns based on iconic 40k battles, rise to the top of the leaderboard and win glory. Free to download and play, link is in the video description below or on the channel homepage and by using the unique link it helps support the channel. Thanks and enjoy the game. Alright, so welcome to this very special review and unboxing video. Uh, so 9th edition is here and Games Workshop have uh, marked the occasion with this Indomitus box set. It does look particularly impressive. Uh, so in this video, really it's just going to be an unboxing. So it's, uh, it's all sealed up here. We're going to go through the contents, we'll zoom in, take a look at the models uh, to give you an idea of exactly what is inside the box. And I'll give my own thoughts and impressions uh, of what Games Workshop have produced here. So uh, check out gamingfigures.com, they do 40k at a discount rate, there'll be a link for them in the video description below, uh, but you can check them out for your discount 40k and a load of other gaming systems and paints and accessories and so on, all available from them. So, first impressions is the box is big and heavy, so that's a good, a good sign if you're looking for lots of, of models. Uh, nice thick card as well, so this is a real flagship production here from Games Workshop. And then looking at the models inside, it's a, a vast array of models here. And uh, the strength of this is that they are all, all of them, brand new models, brand new sculpts. They haven't brought in any other kits from anywhere else. Uh, so no corners cut here at all. Games Workshop have re-sculpted or brought in a load of new units as well. And it's, uh, it's a large box set here. No huge tanks and so on, but tons of infantry. You've got your bikers. These other uh, new Necron units as well, but uh, mightily impressive. Games Workshop really have. There's no. Um, there's no feeling of this being rushed and thrown together. This is. Uh, they really have done a good job here. So, I'm just going to crack this open. I'll take the seal off here and open it up. This gives you an idea of the contents. Uh, Give me the description here, but we'll, we'll open this up and take off the lid. So I was a little bit surprised they went for Necrons, but then with all of the re-sculpts, then uh, that's uh, a great job. It's been great to see the Necrons getting all those models redone. It gives ha hope, perhaps, for the other Xenos factions to get an overhaul and a load of other new units as well. So the lid comes off. Some artwork, first of all. Brand new artwork. Same on both sides. No doubt we'll see that in in the rule book here. I guess a lot of the weight's coming from the brand new rule book. So kits, there is a lot here. This is the new bikers. I'll zoom in in just a moment here. This is the uh, Primaris Assault Marines here. More of them. Interesting, one sprue uh, and uh, Ultramarine on one side, Necron on the other. But uh, it's a shared sprue for them. And they've done the same again here. Necron here, and then space screen on this one. Fantastic base work that they've done. I'll have to. I'll zoom in just a minute. I'll take these out, and then we'll take a, a closer look. More Necron stuff. There's loads and loads. So Necron warriors, and yeah, there's two sprues of those. Two units of ten, and on those is your scarab bases, which is a much better job. Looking really good. Yes, clever. And then the bulk of your ultramarines on here as well. Or space marines, it doesn't have <laughs> it doesn't have to be ultramarines. 
So I'll leave that. We'll zoom in and take a look. We'll take a, a bit of time to have a look at the models. All right, so just zoom in. I've, I've put a black background here as well so you can get a better view of the of the models. So this first one that we're looking at is the Primaris Captain. So the level of detail is incredible. Beautiful models. And then uh, with him you get a, a base as well. Nicely done, so that'll stick on top of the normal uh, base that you get. Uh, so there's a dead neck on there as well. Look at that. Fantastic. Multiple head options. Is that one with a you guys one with a visor open? Just like a knight that's lifted up the visor on his helmet. Fantastic. Really, really nice. So incredible work. That's the front part of the shield, the extra part of the sh shield that goes on the front of this one. But it's a very iconic model. And then you can see the detail on the backpack, the extra crest on top. And there's the sword and the detail there on the shoulder pad. Yeah, brilliant. And it's uh, great that they've, they've put extra effort onto the base, loads of extra effort onto the base. Really good, really, really nice. Uh, so I guess the counterpart then, uh, the Necron Overlord, just here. So, not so much detail on the base, a little bit. You can see at the base of this weapon and at the base of his foot, and then you can just build up the, the sculpting yourself. But uh, big model, Necron Overlord here. It's a good size. And then uh, I love all this power cable here. Just void weapon. And there's his uh, details in his back here. Bits coming down, the arm, and then an extra piece there. But, uh, Nice. So they're paired up, so that's the two commanders, sort of the equivalent to each other on the one sprue. Uh, and then, uh, next is the Primaris Lieutenant, just here. Again, fantastic work. Detail on the shield. Beautiful. Here, yeah, and uh, in the uh, booklet they give you multiple colour schemes that you can so I've seen these painted up where it shows you them painted up in different colour schemes that look really nice they do look nice for the ultramarine so but I think it's one of the best uh, for these style of units uh, sword in the sheath just there beautiful and then this is the the new model here the Royal Warden I guess the equivalent to a Space Marine Lieutenant or Primaris Lieutenant again it's a, it is a big model yeah, big, bigger than Immortals and uh, the Triarch Praetorians as well. I think slightly bigger, but uh, generally the same kind of size. But uh, yeah, they've upped the scale on these, I reckon. And the weapons here, their shooting weapon. Now, to me, it looks like a Gauze Blast. It may well be different rules. And from a character, it's probably going to be a much better weapon. But uh, that's those two. So the next is a large sprue. Uh, so much the command structure, other HQ choices, blade guard veterans. Uh, so you can see there's so their shield designs just there, and then torsos and legs. And then it looks like eradicators here. Way bigger than a regular melter gun. This is a, a large, a large weapon. Then the chaplain. See him just there. Big bulky posed models here. They're going to look big and intimidating on the battlefield. Uh, there's the ancient model uh, for the Blade Guard veterans, the Blade Guard ancient. Just there. And then the Judicia should be here as well. I think it could be these. Not the top here, one of these ones. Just here. But sort of all your HQ. Uh, choices and blade guard veterans on this sprue, but uh, again, mightily impressive. It's hard to tell who's who here with it, them being jumbled up. There's a big blade there from the uh, Judicia, and there's this big hourglass just there as well. And he's he's even holding uh, in his hand like a, ne a Necron hand severed hand here with a chain around it. Some fascinating fascinating details. So again, looking fantastic here. Really good. So that's one of the largest sprues. Uh, so then 
Yeah, so two separate sprues then for your assault intercessors. So I guess both of these sprues are identical. Yeah, they're the same. So you can get them in sprues of five models. Uh, but that uh, really nice. Option to take a plasma uh, pistol here or its primaris equivalent. Let's look at the detail for the head options. Bare head there with the mohawk hairstyle. Nice. Yeah, again, impressive stuff. Just the primaris range from Games Workshop has been excellent for sure, and then the other sprue is going to be the same. Uh, then we're on to the bikers next. Uh, just here, so this is the Outrider Squads, or Outrider Squad, three of them I think you get in the box. But again, big, bulky models here. Space Marine bike, sort of that kind of size, this is a good sort of 25% bigger, big bulky thing. But uh, that's the detail of that, and then showing you around the other side, it's more of the inside of the, the sprue just there. But uh, there's a spare chainsaw there. And then, yeah, it's bareheaded options. But uh, nice work on that exciting new unit. All right, so for Necrons, there's a smaller sprue here, and this may well be uh, the Scorpec Lord here. So it's broken up into a good lot of bits. It's hard to sort of get an image of what it looked like uh, here from this sprue. But a uh, big model. Nice work on the base again. That's looking nice, that should come up really well. I, I think I'll be painting these up uh, here for my Necrons, just to give them a, a boost and a refresh. All of the sculpts are very old. So it's good the Games Workshop taking time to uh, focus on in on a Xenos faction and give them a real boost. And not just re-sculpting, but just adding in some new units at the same time. So hopefully, because Necrons aren't that popular at the moment, uh, but hopefully this will give them a boost here because the models really are fantastic, beautiful stuff, so another great HQ choice option for the Necrons uh, then big sprue here, this is your Necron Warriors, just their different options two types of guns here single barrel, double barreled, interesting and they are, these Necron Warriors are, are bigger than usual bigger than the others uh, so more the scale now of sort of Triarch Praetorians. That's the impression I'm getting. So if you have Triarch Praetorians, that kind of uh, kit, then that'll give you an idea of the new size of the Necron Warriors. They're not as hunched as they were. Necron Warriors, uh, the originals, uh, the knees a lot more bent and sort of more of a squatting position so that reduced the height of them, but these uh, are standing a little bit taller. So they're, they are a bigger size. And I think if you line the two squads up, the new Necron Warriors here, Compared to the older ones, they'll sort of be maybe head and shoulders above the others. So it's a slight upscale, and uh, it's interesting just to match up, to size-wise, to match them up with the primaries, I guess. And you're getting one, two bases of scarabs, as per usual, similar to the old layout. But um, yeah, I'm just looking at the head options here. Strange heads here, some with battle damage, some with sort of bionics and so on showing through so uh, a lot of care and attention to detail on these there's even battle damage on the on the guns and so on so and on the arms here pits and scrapes and bashes nice stuff here from games workshop they have even made the effort to put in fine detail uh, even on standard necron warriors that's a lovely kit that very nice and the great thing about necrons is they can be very quick to paint up and get some real great results and techniques with them. Uh, sprue will be the same, so two units of ten, very cool. And then on here is the remainder of the Necron uh, models. And again, this this detail pits and, and, and scrapes and dents on uh, the armor here. You can see it coming through. Nice, really nice, and so a really good lot of detail on the base work here as well. Maybe we're going to see that more from Games Workshop uh, effort with the bases, adding in some details. That'll be great. That'll really set the miniatures off nicely you know, for future sculpts and releases. Seems to be a, a pattern that we're seeing even with other uh, more recent releases as well. So in here is the Plasmancer. I think that's him just here. And then obviously the larger 
Uh, models as well, the Canoptic Reanimator. Very, very fine detail here on the Necron. Uh, symbols here, and again, the damage on the back, on the back plate here. Fantastic, very nice. And there's crypt thralls in there as well. You can see them just here. But uh, you get a good idea, and we'll flick through the artwork, and you'll get an idea of what these models look like. But uh, mightily impressive here, and it's across the board. It's, they haven't just focused in making the space marines look really good. As a lot of effort, beautiful work done on the Necrons as well. Beautiful models. All right, so pressing on, you then get this divider, another piece of this uh, artwork here. And you get this, just advertising a novel, new Warhammer 40,000 novel from Gab Fork and Domitus. So if you really want to get into the fluff and the storyline, then that's available. Then, here this is going to be your assembly instructions uh, and painting reference guide. Uh, I'll unbox the whole thing and then we'll, we'll crack these open, so that's that one. Then, the rule book. Dear me. Interesting, so... This must be... The way they've gone about doing this is... Um, I, I highly doubt that's going to be the final front cover. So you're getting a, a special edition here, a special cover to go with this box. And then later on we'll become... We'll, be released the official rule book with the usual sort of artwork on the front but uh, they've done this one they bound it uniquely for this box yeah it just says core book on the side unless I'm wrong I could be wrong about that but I think they'll do it that way uh, primary or space marine transfer sheet very useful you may not be wanting to paint up ultramarines you've got options for blood angels space walls and dark angels there as well it's a very very handy uh, sheet that one Transfer sheet's excellent. Level of detail that's been excellent. I've been using these here for my intercessors for my uh, blood angels, and I've, I've been using the markings from this. Very nice, very helpful. Okay, so then these uh, two compartments either side. So that's simply just going to be uh, your bases. And for the bikers, yeah, they're big models. How big? those and a large pack of bases just there uh, all marked out here with hexagonal holes here so you can uh, fix your models precisely where they're meant to go so that's the contents we'll take a look at the publications uh, now just a quick flick through all right so uh, publications then first of all your assembly instructions and you know compared to other box sets I've seen this is massive massive army here and it is exciting because they're all brand new models. There's all sorts of different types of models going on here. Uh, brand new units being added in, complete revamp for the Necron Warriors, uh, new characters. So uh, there's a real depth now to the Necrons. Real sort of personality being added in and some exciting units. Fantastic, really is good. I mean, I, I love my Necron army. And uh, this is. Um, very exciting for them. And then for Space Marines, I mean, here, I know James is going to go nuts here, but when he gets a chance to paint these up and use them in games, because it, the whole sort of heraldry, uh, knights, and sort of old sort of style, medieval sort of style, matches his Ultramarines really well. Uh, and there's some incredible models here. Beautiful stuff. And then uh, Assault Intercessors. Um, and then your bikers as well. So. As with the, that gives you an idea of the uh, potential colour schemes you can go for. They do look quite nice painted up for Blood Angels. Hmm. And nice painted up for your uh, Dark Angels as well. So very precise and clear assembly instructions. Wasn't always as clear uh, years ago, but now. And it's all the detail you could ever need here, and it's all very precisely done. So, very impressive. And then your assembly instructions to the Necrons. Some colour schemes as well for you, uh, dotted around. And then some more painting references for you here at the back as well. Nice work. Yeah, it should be straightforward. James paints the Ultramarines up, and then I'll paint the Necrons up. Fair's fair. <laughs> Hopefully that's the that's the idea. 
Uh, and then you get this book here, The Edge of Science. I, this might, this uh, will be your specific fluff here in campaign uh, for the Indomitus box set. So, the Pariah Nexus. Silent Kingdom. Again, brand new artwork. Fascinates in the Pariah Crusade. Working alongside the Adeptus Mechanicus, perhaps the Arisen Ancients. The Necrons. Uh, I, it's quite easy to introduce the fluff of the new units, just new units emerging from the, the catacombs, so I can't see that being a problem. Angels of Death. Space Brains, just giving you the layout of all the units. Great task force, this, really nice. Right, okay, and then there's your, your rules here uh, for these units. So just a flick through at this stage. So what I'll do, I may well do a separate video here giving you the specific rules for these. We're going to be focusing on the actual rules uh, for these new models. Playguard veterans. All laid out for you. Very nice. Yeah, and just showing you there's pages and units. Really good. And that's that one. Uh, and then the rule book, I'd, I'll do a, a separate video on that, so be like a review, flick through, you get to see all the artwork and stuff, because it's, uh, it is big. I, I think it's, I've got a copy of 8th edition. It is bigger, slightly. So there's more in this book. 8th edition is running at 281 odd pages. This one, it's just put artwork here at the back. 370 odd pages. <laughs> so, there's a lot more in this one. There's a lot bigger book. Fascinating stuff, but a real celebration of the hobby. Been tons of artwork in here, loads of painting reference, loads of uh, background storyline and so on. Uh, so, they haven't cut back on this. Uh, a fine production, for sure. So uh, that's the review as we move from 8th edition over to 9th edition. As my you know, Games Workshop sent me a copy through ahead of time, but my honest opinion on this is that um, it's hard to, to fault what they've done. The models, uh, there's, there's been no injection of previous models, it's all been revamped, re sculpted, brand new units. Uh, they've given fair attention to both sides, and in fact, uh, I, I'm more excited about the Necrons actually because the, the models are beautiful. They're brand new units that I can uh, paint up quite quickly and add into my army and completely refresh uh, the Necrons. So I hope to see those revamped on the tabletop. They've been doing quite well in, in uh, Season 8 Battle Reports as well. So hopefully we'll see the Necrons make some good progress uh, in our games. But uh, for the review here, nice work from Games Workshop. Beautiful box, doesn't feel rushed at all, they've taken their time and effort and the same uh, with the publications inside, the models and just the whole, the whole box is a good set from them for sure. But that's the review, check out gamingfigures.com uh, if you discount 40k, keep a look out for more content for 9th edition uh, here on the channel and some battle reports as soon as possible. Thanks for watching and tune in next time.